Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So today we are going to learn with a new topic that is squares and square roots of class 8. Okay, so before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new videos. So let's quickly start with the chapter here. Okay. So here you can see in the introduction part, first we need to learn what square numbers. So the product of number with itself, when the product, okay, when the number is multiplied by itself, that particular thing is known as square numbers, okay. So some of the square numbers is uh, shown in the table below. As you can see, number one, if you square this number, one into one, you are going to get one itself. Two into two is four. Three into three is nine. Similarly, four into four is 16. Five square is nothing but 25. Six square is 36. Seven square is 49. 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81, 10 square is 100, 11 square that is 11 into 11 is 121, 12 into 12 is 144, 13 into 13 is 169, 14 into 14 is 196. Similarly, these all things are given. Okay. So, these are nothing but the square numbers from 1 to 20. Okay. So, let us learn few properties of the square numbers. Okay. So, these are the properties of the square numbers which we can apply it into the exercise. While, make, while solving the exercise, we can apply this properties. Okay. So, we will start one by one. So, the first property says that the number ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9. The number when it ends with all these numbers as it units place. Okay. The number must be in its unit place only. Then only they are called as square numbers. So, let us see the above the square numbers which we have given here. Okay. So here you can see 1, it is present here, 4, present, 9 is also present, you can see 9, 6 is there in its unit place, okay, in its units place, it must be 6, then 5, 5 is also present, again 6, again 9, again here it is 4, 1, 0, so you can see all these numbers are present, here also 0, 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, so all these numbers are present here. Then only we can say that if it is present, if these numbers are present in its unit place, then only we are, uh, we can say that thus th this particular number is nothing but a square number. Okay. So moving on to the second property, the numbers ending with 2, 3, 7 or 8 at its unit place are not square numbers. If these numbers are if these numbers shows us that they are square numbers, then these numbers say us that they are not the square numbers. If these numbers are present in the unit place, then we can confirmly say that those numbers are not the square numbers. Okay. The third property, if a number has 1 or 9 in its unit place, then its square ends with 1. We need to remember if you are solving any of these sum. Okay. So, let me show you here itself. Okay. Um, okay. Here you can see. 9 is present. If a number has 1 or 9 in its unit place, this is having 9 in its unit place. Then the square number, then the square of this number is ending with 1. Okay, the square of the number will end with 1. Here you can see in the unit place 1 is there. Then it's after squaring that number, that number will also have the unit place as 1. In its unit place, the number will also be having the 1. Okay, so this is just an example which I've showed you here. Okay, next if we move to the next one. If a number has 4 or 6 in its unit place, then its squares end with 6. Now, if the number is having 4 in its unit place, then you can see here, if this number is having 4 in its unit place, then its square will end with 6 in its unit place. Okay. 4 or 6 they have given. Let me show you the 6 also. You can see here 16. This is having 6 and its number will also end with 6. Okay. Similarly, 4, you can say it is also ending with 6. 4 or 6, when the numbers, when you square the numbers which are having 6 or 4 in its unit place, then after squaring that number also, you are getting the 6 in its unit place. Okay. Then, next, all the square numbers can have only even numbers of zeros at the end. Okay, so even number of zeros at the end. So, here you can see 10 square, if you do it, you are going to get 100. So, these are this is having two zeros means even number of zeros here also this is 20 square you are getting two zeros that is even number of zeros two is an even number two is an even number so you are getting two zeros if you are getting even numbers of zeros then only you can say that that particular number is a square number okay huh next Squares of even numbers will always be even. You need to know that squares of the even numbers will always be even and the square of odd numbers will always be odd. 
okay then there are two n non perfect square numbers between the squares of the numbers n and n plus 1 i will explain you this while solving the exercise itself okay so the next last one the sum of first n odd natural numbers there is one formula to find the first n odd natural numbers first odd numbers odd numbers that is 1 3 5 Uh, seven, nine, eleven, so on. So this number can be found out by this formula, that is n square. Okay. Okay. Then the last one, as you can see, if a natural number cannot be expressed as a sum of successive odd natural numbers. So if your natural number, if any of the natural number, if we cannot express it as the sum of successive odd natural numbers, like one plus three plus five plus. Seven plus nine plus. If we cannot express that particular number in successive odd natural numbers, then we can say that it is not a perfect square. Okay, that particular number is not a perfect square. Okay. Suppose you are having the perfect square as four. So if I write one plus three, okay, this is the what you can say. This is natural number, and these are odd natural numbers. Okay, these are natural numbers as well as odd. So we can write it as four. Similarly, one plus three plus five. If you are getting, so it will be five plus one is six. Six plus three is nine. So you got the second uh, square number that is nine. First number you got four. Second number is nine. Okay. Similarly, if you go on increasing, you will get the numbers. Okay. So depending on all these things, we will quickly solve the exercise five point one. Okay. So here the first question is, what will be the unit digit of squares of the following numbers? So the numbers are being given. We need to square them, and we need to tell what are the unit digit after squaring these numbers. Okay. So instead of solving this as eighty one into eighty one and telling the answer, it is just a time waste. What we will do? We will just square this number, the last number. One into one, you are getting one itself. Similarly, here two into two, you are getting four. Nine nines are eighty one, you are getting. So the answer will be one. Okay. Then three threes are nine. Four fours are sixteen, you are getting. What is the last number? Unit number that is six. Seven sevens are forty nine, we are getting. Last number is nine. Okay. Then eight eights are again sixty. Sorry, eight eights are sixty four, we are having. So the last number is nothing but four. Okay, zero zero is a zero, so we are getting zero itself. Okay, then six six is a thirty six we are having, so the last number will be six. Five five is a twenty five we are having, so the last unit place will be of five. So instead of instead of solving this multiplication in a long method, you can find it directly by this method. Okay, so here the answer is one four. For this, it is one nine six nine four zero six and five. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. The following numbers are obviously not perfect square. Okay, they they have directly given us that the following numbers are obviously not the perfect squares. We need to give the reason for this. Okay, so here the you can see you have learned this. Let me let me show you. Okay, so you have learned this one. That is the number ending with two, three, seven, or eight at its unit place are not square numbers. So mention I have already mentioned here. What are the numbers? Two, three, seven, and eight. So you can see seven, three, eight, then two, then again two, again. Ha! Huh. One more thing you have learned that is all the square numbers can have only even number of zeros at the end. Okay, all the square numbers can have only even number of zeros at the end. So if we apply it here now, this is having three zeros means odd number of zeros. This is having three zeros again odd number of zeros, and this is having only one zero that is also odd number of zeros. So here you can write the reason as one zero five seven ends with seven. So if it is seven, then it is not a perfect square. So you can write this reason that is the number ending with Seven at its unit place are not square numbers. Okay, so for the next question, that is three here, two, three, four, five, three. You can write this as again the numbers ending with three at its unit place. Okay, you can see like this. Okay, the numbers ending with two, three, seven, or eight at its unit place are not square numbers. Okay, wherever zeros are present, so you can write this. All the square numbers can have only even number of zeros at the end. Since that particular number is having 
odd number of zeros at the end it is not a square number so you can give the reason like okay so if we move on to the third question the question is the square of which of the following would be a odd number okay so we need to identify the square of which of these number will be a odd number so here four questions are given that is 431 first one is 431 2826 second one then third one is 7779 and the fourth one is 82004 okay so we have studied one more property there that is the square of the odd number will be odd number okay you have studied that the square of the odd number will always be the odd number. So applying that same property, we can say the square of this number. You can see this is 1, so it is odd number. This is 9, so it is odd number. So you can mark the square of 431 will be an odd number and the square of 7779 will also be an odd number. Since this 6 is even number and this 4 is even number, so the square of these two numbers will be even okay so let's move on to the next question so moving to the next question that is fourth one observe the following pattern and find the missing digits is given so here you can see one pattern is given where 11 square everywhere here you can see the square is given and they have gone on adding the number of zeros here so you can see here one zero is given then again two zeros then four zeros then six zeros they have given okay so the amount of zeros is been increasing so here they have given 121 11 square is 121 okay 101 square is what they have done is all this number between all these numbers they have added zeros okay since one zero is there they have added one zeros if there was two zeros they have added two two zeros similarly here there are four zeros so we are going to add four zeros here and here two then here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros they have given. So we are going to add 6 zeros here as well as this side. Okay. So this is the pattern. Okay. So similarly, they have again given the fifth one. Observe the following pattern and su supply the missing numbers. Okay. Again, the same thing. 11 square is 121. 101 square is the same thing. 1010. 0, 0. Here they have changed. After 0, they have added 1 between and okay. You can see the difference here. One is as it is, this one is as, as it is. So here in place of this, they have added one and two zeros at the, okay, two zeros beside that one, okay. And here you can see, again, they have done the same pattern, how they have done here, the same thing. And here next, one zero, two zero, again, one more thing they have added, that is three zero. Again, repeat it, two zero, one. So here also, here next you can see one zero, one zero, one zero, one. So here it will be one zero, C. Here one more one more one zero is added. Already we are having one zero, one zero we are having, one zero one we are having, here also one zero one we are having, they have added again one and zero. So here we need to write two zero, three zero, four zero we are going to add. Again the same thing that will be repeated that is three zero two zero one. So one zero two zero three zero four zero we are going again coming back that is three zero two zero one. Okay. Similarly, you can see here. 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 again coming back 4 0 3 0 2 0 1 so here it will be 1 0 already 1 0 we have added so 1 0 this is 1 0 1 0 we have added so let us add one more from our side and this 1 0 1 okay so this will be the solution next you can see the sixth question they have given Okay, using the given pattern, find the missing numbers. So this is the given pattern where 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square and 6 square is given. Okay, this is the first pattern. Second pattern, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. So this will be 6 square and 7 square. Okay, then they have given one hint here to solve this that is to find the pattern. Third number is related to first and second number. How they are asking? So this is the third number and it is related to second, first and second number. That is here in the in this case they have given 2. So 2 into 1, 1 into 2 is 2. Similarly 2 3s are 6, 3 4s are 12, 4 5s are this will be 20. Okay then 5 6s are 30, 6 7s are 42 square. Okay one more uh, link uh, hint they have given that is fourth number is related to third number how? This fourth number is related to this third number. How? That is, after 2, 3 will come. After 6, 7 will come. After 12, that is, 13 will come. 20, 21, 30, 31. So, after 42, obviously, 43 we are going to get. So, this is how you are going to solve this patterns. Okay. Next question, you can see, seventh one. Without adding, find the sum. 
so without adding this numbers we need to find the sum okay so how can you find the sum so there is one formula which i have already shared with you that is last one the sum of first n odd natural number is n square so we are going to use this formula that is n square i'm going to solve this okay okay so how many numbers are given here 1 2 3 4 5 so according to n square we are going to write 5 square n means 5 numbers are given so 5 square that is 5 into 5 5 5 is 25 so let us calculate 9 plus 1 is 10 7 plus 3 is 10 again 10 plus 10 is 20 20 plus 5 is 25 okay then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so n square means it is 10 square 10 square is nothing but 100 Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, n square formula. 12 square is nothing but 144. Okay. So, the last you can see. Express 49 as the sum of 7 odd numbers. So, answers we have wrote here. Now, this 49 we have to express in this term. That is 1 plus. You can see as the sum of 7 odd numbers they have given. So, it will be 1 plus 3 plus plus. 5 how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this will be equal to 49 okay okay next you can see express 121 as the sum of 11 odd numbers again like this only we need to write 11 numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so if you add this you are going to get 121 okay so the last question of this exercise that is how many numbers lie between squares of the following numbers so the question is how many numbers lie between square of the following numbers okay so already i have uh, told you one more that is uh, Okay, so I have told you about this one that is there are two n non-perfect square numbers between the squares of the numbers n and n plus 1. So two numbers are given there that is n, one is n and one is n plus 1. So formula to find the square numbers between the two numbers that is 2n. This is the formula that is 2n. So they have given us two numbers there that is n and n plus 1. We need to put this formula and solve. Okay, so let us see that. Okay, so here already they have given the question is 12 and 13. So this is nothing but n and this is nothing but n plus 1. 12 plus 1 is 13. Okay, so according to the formula, what you are going to do 2n means 2 into n is what? 12. So 12, 2 12s or 12 2s are we are getting 24. So how many numbers lies between this square numbers between 12 and 13? There are 24 numbers. Okay, so you can count it. 12 square is nothing but 144. 12 into 12 is 144. And 13 into 13 we are having 169. If you count from 145, 146, 147, from 145 to 168 between these numbers. Okay, so between these numbers means you, you should exclude these two numbers and you have to count that particular numbers 145 to 168 you are getting 24 numbers okay okay so similarly next one that is 25 and 26 this is n and this is n plus 1 so if you are finding you are having the formula 2n that is 2 into 25 which is equals to 50 you are getting 50 numbers in between these two squared numbers after squaring you are getting 50 numbers in between that two squares okay then 99 and 100 they have given again the same formula that is 2n so 2 into this is n and this is n plus 1 so 2 into 99 is nothing but 198 you can see 2 nines are 18 8 and 1 carry 2 nines are 18 plus 1 19 you are getting okay so the answer is 198 so this exercise is complete so i'll be back with another video on the second exercise so till then stay tuned and stay connected. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon with the next video. Thank you.